Hi guys. Today we are going to take an in-depth look at a couple of Diamond Art Club paintings that I have not seen around very much. Um, in fact, I've only seen this one one other place on YouTube. Mrs. Coffee unboxed it and I have not seen this one anywhere on YouTube. Um, but if you or someone you know has unboxed it, please leave it in the comments. Um, because I want to see and also I am really interested to see any finished ones. I did see a picture of Winged Fox finished on Facebook and it turned out beautifully. Um, these are smaller paintings. Winged Fox is 32 by 45 and Pony Ladybird is 32 by, four, by 39. So they are smaller and they both are round with a B and they are part of the Maria Gubar series of paintings with um, a person's hand holding a little winged animal. So that is part of why I got them. Um, these have been unboxed already. I've had them for a while. I bought them when they first came out in April during the April release. So, um, so I am just going to get started. We are going to put winged fox aside for the moment and we will look at pony ladybird there is the thumbnail on the box and I will put a photo of the art in here um, so that you can see a clearer picture um, so let's get into this so looks like all right so you know what just for the sake of it we will roll it backwards um, just because it'll smooth out, but I kind of, I don't want to waste that time, I guess you would say. I just want it to lay flat. So, here is Pony Ladybird. Um, like I said, this is a smaller one. It is smaller than my cat bat, um, but I'm actually looking forward to doing a smaller one. So, this will be nice. It does have 39 colors, so quite a bit for such a small painting. Um... Let's see if we can get, I can almost get the whole thing in the frame. It's just about the whole thing. Yeah, just about, okay. So, um, it did come with the key, the strip, um, which I love. I did for my cat bat, I actually made a key by scanning just the key um, with my new printer scanner and printed it out. So that's doable. Um, and you know, I mean, the size difference. I might even just do that with this one too because if I leave off the schematic, I can blow it up. But I don't know, I'm not that old yet. I can probably <laughs> handle the size that it is. Anyway, um, so it does have the strip, the schematic strip. Um, as always, the, the glue does not come over. You don't need to put washi tape on Diamond Art Clubs. Glue quality is fine and very sticky. So, um, but that's not surprising for a Diamond Art Club. So that's not what we're here to look at today. So this is Pony Ladybird, which is a pony, which you've seen in the art, with little ladybug wings which i think is super cute because you i mean this is the the painting so you can't see it as well but ladybugs have the little hard shell on their wing and then the filament wing comes out from under that and i just think it's wonderful how they've how maria gubar the artist has made it look so real and it's and it's got little antenna which i think is just super cute um, so let's get into these drills. I think this one is the one that just has one AB. I think the other one has two. Um, but we'll we'll just take a look at these. Um, all 39 colors. So we've got this pretty pale yellow. That's kind of a nice pale blue, and that's a nice blue. These blues, I think, are all for the background. 
good old 823. Okay, so, oops. <laughs> just dropping stuff. All right, so we've got that one and that pretty blue and that pretty blue. Oh, 550. I've noticed 550 seems kind of darker in DAC, which I don't mind. Oh, and there's 125, the AB. It seems to be a white or a pale green. Hopefully you can see that AB coating on there. And nice blue. Another blue. And just another white. And here are the colors that there's not very many of. So, oh, got a hitchhiker. He's hiding. It's that, that color everyone calls scrambled eggs. There's a pink one with a with a scrambled egg in there. There's 961. Ooh, that's a kind of a nice coral color. Up. Oh, rest in peace, my friend. Another hitchhiker in there. You see him? Man, these hitchhikers. There's a blue one hiding in the orange. Two blue ones. They made friends. Oh, three. They got triplets. Six, six, six. That one's safe. I think I can use that one. He hasn't been crushed. Got a 666 hiding in the 402. 3865. Ooh, that one's kind of a, like a winter butter color. Pretty purple. Okay, so. Like I said, 39 colors. Um, I am pretty excited about this one. Let's see where the ABs are going to be. So it's code one. All right, so it looks like AB is going to highlight the bubbles. So we've got one here. We've got it here, around here. Yeah, so it's part of the bubble highlight in all these bubbles here. And like... Surprised there's not much on the wings because that would have been my natural choice but I guess since this does have like these flash I guess they're not really bubbles they're maybe like screen flares like flares of color um that's what they went with but again I mean this is just going to be beautiful and I'm really looking forward to doing it um it is around I think I said that already. I did. I did the very beginning that it's a round AB. Um, so I, you know, it will go fast. Um, squares are my favorite, but again, they have that problem where they could be crap. <laughs> but since it's Diamond Art Club, if it had been you know, a square, a square, I would know it would be good, but you know, I will still love it, I think. So we're going to, we know it'll turn out really nice. So that is Pony Ladybird. Um, I do not recall how much this is. I think it's around $40, could be slightly under $40, um, because again, it is kind of a small one. So it might be like 37, 38. Um, I'll look up the price and put it, you know, in here somewhere for you. But again, um, just it's it's going to be so wonderful to do, and it's I just think it's really cute. I love this series. I think that Maria has one more that has not been on Diamond Art Club because um, there's the elephant that's been on Diamond Art Club, and that's the only one I don't have from Diamond Art Club. I have one from Ever Moment. Which again, I ordered before I realized 
that she was licensed to Diamond Art Club. But if Diamond Art Club brought, brings that elephant back, I will be buying it. So I have my fingers crossed that they're going to bring that back. And in the meantime, I have a sad knockoff that I bought without realizing. Um, but she has a salamander too, I found on her Deviant Art. And I really hope that they do that one as well because it's super cute. Um, you know, maybe I'll just put that right here too so you can see it. Um, but again, that one's not charted. That one's not done yet. Um, but, you know, it would be really nice if Diamond Art Club did that one. Hint, hint, Diamond Art Club. And we'll just roll all this up in the canvas. Yeah, that looks real nice. Okay, so we're going to set that one aside. Again, Pony Ladybird. Um, you can scan that with your phone if you want to go find it. I'll put that aside. So the next one is the Winged Fox. There is your thumbnail. I will put the art up so you can see a better look. And I'll get the scan me out of the way here. Again, that might just take you to the Diamond Art Club website. I think probably because these are stickers. But anyway, we're not going to worry about it. All right, so let's unroll this one. We'll get the drills out of here and roll this the other way so it'll lay flat right away. Voila. All right. Let's see, we've got getting this one all in frame. Yeah, this one, see, we can't quite get all in frame because it is a little bit longer. It's the same width as Pony Ladybird, but it's a little bit longer. So, well, we don't care as much about the top of the arm, though. So we'll get all this stuff that's down here at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, this one has 39 colors. It also came with the little strip, which again, I love. I wish that DAC would make these part of every kit. However, now that I have a scanner printer, um, it's less of an issue because I can just make my own inventory sheet, but I don't work from the key. I pretty much ignore these. I work from the sheet of paper, so I don't need to be able to see these. Um, I like to work from this, so, you know, that's just me. So, um, as always, I'll check the, the sticky. Yep, I mean, like I said, no surprises here. It's always really sticky. Um, this one is a little winged fox. It has feathery wings instead of... Uh, beetle wings like the ladybird ladybird pony and this one is sitting in the hand slightly different like this person's kind of like like holding it almost like you would like a tiny kitten like you couldn't not letting it sit in his hand but like wrapping the hand around it and it's got a slightly different color scheme like the flares down here are yellow or more yellow and up here is like a darker darker scheme so um it is something different which i like it's a lot darker. Um, we're going to see how it turns out in the painting. I'm hoping it'll be, you know, a little bit more vibrant. Because, you know, the, the thumbnail on here, that looks awfully dark. But I think it's going to turn out, you know, not as dark in here. So, um, this one has two AB colors, 138 and 141. Um... And it's also round, which I believe I did mention before, but I just wanted to say one more time. Um, these were released as a pair, not, you know, together to buy together, but I did buy them together because I really wanted both of them. And I did not know if Cat Bat was ever going to get restocked. And I thought this is the next best thing. Um, you know, plus by that point, I had ordered a couple of Maria Goo Bars from um, AliExpress the cat bat 
which is where I originally saw it, and the elephant, and then I found DAC, and was like, oh crap. So, you know, I figure I'll put some money in Maria's pocket. All right, so let's get into the drills. We've got a couple loose bags. They're doing the stripe, but we've got a couple loose bags. So we've got this pretty aqua color and this sort of blue color with their old style bags. All right, so we're gonna unroll these and we'll start going through them. So, got that nice orange. The red. Ooh, these are a little, a little crinkled. Okay. Another, another orange. Wow, that one looks a lot more yellow in the camera than it actually is. That's kind of more like a tan color. Pink. We got a couple of those pinks hitchhike in here in the blue. Ooh, lavender. Wow, this is just, it's like it's completely rippled up there on every bag. It's kind of a nice rose pink. Blue. Another, this is a peach color that's going to look a lot yellower on camera for some reason. And that is a pale yellow that looks really yellow. Pink. Pale, pale pink, purple. All right, and then. Oh wow, it looks like they misnumbered these because there's stickers over every one. So there's 550. That nice dark DAC 550, 820. Ooh, this one's got some hitchhikers. They hide. All right, there's the first AB, 141. That's kind of white. Maybe even a pale. Well, the AB makes it look more pink, but it's it's white. And we got another purple. Another pink. Another flesh tone. Another, sorry, another peachy color that looks yellow. Pink. Pretty blue with a little hitchhiker in there. All right, here's the other AB. This one's a gorgeous blue. I just love that. Sort of raspberry. those two all together and it looks like that's it so uh, really excited again about these um, excited to have two ABs the cat bat doesn't have any um, which I'm you know disappointed in I feel like these particular paintings really um, lend themselves to the Aurora Borealis. All right, so let's figure out where on here the AB is going to go. So the blue is P. So let's see, where's that? We got a little bit here, right there in that flare, right there in that flare, a little bit. See, is that highlighting the wings or just the flare? Maybe a little bit around, like a halo around the hand. Yeah, definitely. Yep, okay, so like a little bit of a like a halo over here and then some of the the flare highlight. Oh, a little halo around the wing up here too. And then, 141, the white one, is going to be here, highlighting the brighter flare, the white pinky flares over here. So, 
yeah, as expected. Oh, little little ABs in the eyes, looks like. <laughs> that makes sense. Little Foxy's got shiny eyes. Uh, so yeah, I, again, am looking so forward to doing these. Um, they are just, they're going to turn out so good. Um, I will do post reviews on them when I finish them. I don't know when that's going to be, though. I do not know if I'm going to keep working on DACs after I finish my cat bat or if I am going to branch off and do some other things. Um, I will do a stash video to show some of the things I have coming up in the pipeline, but I do have some Lisa Frank paintings that I got from AliExpress that I would love to do in the near future um, because I can't get enough of Lisa Frank. So, you know, we will have to see. Um, oh, and just in case you wondered, um, like I said, I had unboxed these previously, but they did come with, you know, the, the, the DAC kit that everything comes with. And they were packed just the way a normal DAC is. If you don't know what that looks like, you can look at one of my other videos where I unbox, like actually unbox a DAC. Um, anyway, I hope I will see you in the next video. Um, again, this is Bronwyn from Big Sky Diamond Painting. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day, whatever you're doing, and I will see you on the flip side.